A very good evening to one and all present here. My name is Atulia Jaikish and today I would like to speak on the topic Armed Forces Special Powers Act. To talk about what is the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. It was a colonial era legislation that was enacted to stop the protests during the Quit India movement. It was initially was it was an initially an ordinance and was converted to an act in 1948. Now, how and who imposes this act? The center or the governor of the state has the power to impose the Armed Forces Special Powers Act on areas which is considered as disturbed under Section 3. Now, what is the disturbed areas? It is the areas where uh, it is the areas where the use of armed forces is necessary to aid civil power. Now, the powers given by the government to the special forces are that they can open fire without any approval and they have also the permission to search the premises without any warrant. They can also arrest the, pe arrest the people based on reasonable suspicion which the people might carry the arms and ammunition or fight against the government. Now, where was AFSPA first introduced? In 1952, it was uh, imposed in the states of Punjab, Northeastern states and Jammu and Kashmir during the military years. Punjab was the first state where AFSPA was first re repealed, followed by Tripura and Meghalaya. Now, to talk about the impact the Armed Forces Special Powers Act has had on the people, it has become a symbol of oppression in areas enacted. Uh, there are many reasons for uh, there are many reasons why people were dissatisfied with AFSPA. The first being the violation in human rights. There has been many allegations of fake encounters by the armed forces uh, deployed in the uh, in the disturbed areas. And recently, in the Mons district of Nagaland, 14 villagers were killed in an anti-insurgency uh, operation, which has caused a strain in the people's uh, in the people's mentality against the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. The uh, power given by the government to the special forces deployed in the area to arrest the, uh, arrest the people without any warrant is against the Article 22 of Indian Constitution which prevents arbitrary detention of people. The Armed Forces Special Powers Act also gives security uh, to the armed forces and they cannot be, they, there cannot be any legal proceedings against the forces without the prior approval of the center. To conclude, the armed forces deployed in the insurgent affected areas or the disturbed areas can take support from the local people to counter the insurgency and the grassroots level organizations, the state and bureaucracy can work together to improve the conditions of the affected areas and solve problems without causing disturbance to the dignity of life of people. Thank you.